Arctic sea ice shrank to the second lowest level on record this month, and scientists say it will only get worse. Here is what you need to know. According to the National Snow and Ice Data Center, this summer's Arctic sea ice shrank to its second lowest ever extent in the 42-year satellite record after record-breaking heat waves above the Arctic Circle. This was the average Arctic extent for September 15th from 1981 to 2010. On September 15th, 2020, Arctic sea ice appeared to reach its annual minimum extent of 3.74 million square kilometers or 1.44 million square miles, according to the NSIDC Sea Ice Index data. Data. That's bad news for the climate, as sea ice helps cool the planet. According to the NSIDC, 80% of the sunlight that strikes sea ice is reflected back into space. As sea ice melts, it exposes darker surface waters, which absorb 90% of sunlight. In a press release on the NSIDC's website, Director Mark Surez said the melting ice was caused in part by 100-degree Fahrenheit heat waves in Siberia that occurred in June and massive wildfires in the western United States. The diminishing sea ice is driving polar bears, which depend on it as a platform for hunting seals, to extinction. It also threatens animals like walruses and seals, which use it as a platform for resting and giving birth. NSIDC director Mark Serez told CNN that if the current trajectory continues, there will eventually be no Arctic sea ice in the later summer. The record low of 3.41 million square kilometers or 1.32 million square miles was reached in 2012. It was an anomaly as a massive late summer cyclone shattered the remaining sea ice. 2020 nearly reached that record but without any intense storms, just intense heat in July and August. But hey, it's not all bad news. The melting ice has opened up a big shortcut for shipping. But that's about the only good news, until maybe one day when we're able to refreeze the poles. Businesses plan to profit off the melting ice in the Arctic. Online magazine Grist reports, as climate change continues to impact the Arctic, countries are planning to use the Northwest Passage as a shortcut shipping route. Currently, the Suez Canal and Panama Canal are used as major shipping routes in the world. However, in the future, ships traveling from Japan to Western Europe could be able to travel north through the Bering Strait to Europe. This would slash the travel route from 13,000 miles to about 7,000 miles and could potentially cut shipping prices in half. Ships traveling from Yokohama port could also make the journey through the Northwest Passage to New York City in about 21 days instead of the standard 25 days. Traveling 7,480 nautical miles instead of 9,720 through the Panama Canal. As the ships travel through the Arctic, some are worried that fossil fuels used by the vessels may harm the already fragile Arctic ecosystem. Scientists estimate that by 2050, there will be no more ice in the Arctic. Do you think getting cheaper goods is worth potentially causing more damage to the area? Global warming might make some of Europe cooler. That's cool. A NASA study says that human-caused climate change is rapidly melting Arctic ice and disrupting ocean currents, which could make Western Europe cooler. The new study was conducted over 12 years and published in Nature Communication. The Beaufort Gyre is a current that previously kept the Arctic waters cold and protected sea ice. However, the glut of cold fresh water is making the gyre spin stronger and faster, and the natural reversal of the spin's direction has not happened for over 10 years. Researchers say that if the westerly wind guiding the current should reverse its direction now, the cold water buildup could be unleashed all at once. The cold tide may well slow down the Atlantic currents that bring warmth to Western Europe. Citing the researchers, NASA says in its news release that disruptions to the Gulf Stream would have a negative impact on ocean life and the communities that depend on them. On the bright side, it will sure be nice to see snow in Paris again before humans disappear from the Earth altogether. The Russian Navy has found five new islands in the remote Arctic. Russia's defense ministry has confirmed the discovery of five new islands in the Arctic, which were revealed by accelerated glacial melting in the far north. According to the BBC, the islands were hidden under the Nansen Glacier on the Novoya Zemlya archipelago and ranged in size from 900 to 54,500 square meters. The initial discovery of the islands has been credited to Marina Migunova, who found them in 2016 while completing her final coursework as a student at the Admiral Makarov State Maritime Academy. The Guardian reports that an Arctic expedition in August and September charted the islands. The Defense Ministry also confirmed the existence of an island previously mapped as a peninsula of Hall Island and part of the Franz Josef Land archipelago. 
The Guardian reports that in recent years, Russia has had increased commercial and military interest in the Arctic, as retreating ice caused by rising temperatures has opened up shipping routes and previously inaccessible mineral resources. The islands have yet to be named, but Vice Admiral Alexander Moiseev says they are upcoming. Scientists have suggested plans to save Antarctic glaciers and Arctic sea ice by refreezing them. According to Reuters, scientists believe the West Antarctic ice sheet is on course to disintegrate due to the effects of global warming. This would trigger a global sea level rise that would leave many coastal cities, such as New York, underwater. To prevent this from happening, a new study published in Science Advances has proposed using 12,000 wind turbines to pump seawater to the surface, turn it into artificial snow, and then pump it onto two glaciers in the West Antarctic coast. According to study co-author Anders Leberman, it would take 7.4 trillion tons of snow over a 10-year period to result in a 2-centimeter drop in sea level, though the artificial snow would weigh the glaciers down and improve stability. Other research suggests warm water currents may be melting the glaciers from the bottom up, prompting an idea to construct giant sills or underwater mounds to prevent the water from seeping under the ice shelves. CNBC reports that Arizona State University physicist Stephen Desch has similar refreezing plans for the Arctic. His Arctic ice management strategy calls for the use of wind-powered pumps to spray water to the surface of sea ice, where it would freeze and thicken the ice cap. Many scientists believe the consequences of global warming are already inevitable, and when they do occur, just turning down the temperature won't cut it. Since efforts to curb this problem aren't keeping pace with the Paris Agreement, Desh suggests it's time to start looking into unconventional options. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.